Hey there, me again. Uh, just showing you a little tip that you may or may not already know, and it's uh, around the Windows clipboard. A lot of people are very familiar with Control C to copy whatever, whether it's text or a link that you want to share with somebody, or whether it's an image or even a combination of all of those things. Uh, you can copy using Control C to the clipboard. And then if you go Control V, it will paste what it was that you last copied. Uh, to, so let's give you a, a little demonstration of that. If you uh, jump in here, and if I was at this particular website, for example, and I wanted to share this URL, I could come in here and then uh, minimize this, whoops, minimize this, and paste that URL in there. And that's now uh, pasted for sharing with somebody. I could be putting it as a tweet. I could be uh, adding it to a Yammer post. I could paste it in an email message and so on. Um, or if I... Uh, was back at that same website and I wanted to get some of this text. So say for example, I grab all of this text and go Control C to copy and then come in here and go Control V to paste. It's uh, grabbed not only the text, but included the embedded link uh, and all uh, very handy. Um, and if I go for example to another little website and say I want this graphic here, I can right click on it and go copy the image which is the same as Control C after selecting it and then I could come in here and go Control V and it's pasted that graphic in there. But if I wanted to repaste this particular item that's at the top here, this URL, how do I do it? Because if I do another Control V on that um, on that particular link, all I do is get the last thing that I copied by control, going Control V. But back here at the top, there's something new that's part of Windows, that's been part of Windows uh, since about Windows 8 and or was it Windows 7, I think, and that's Windows V. And that's just the other key that's on your keyboard that's right next to the uh, Control key or the Shift key, actually, not the Control key, and it's Windows. And if you hold that down, instead of going uh, control and put my cursor down here and if I go Windows V what happens is on my little clipboard pop-up here that you can see I'll just move out of the way sorry and I'll go Windows V one more time I can see that the last three things that I pasted in here so I'll clipped it, uh, copied in here so I've got the uh, clipboard item uh, of the graphic I've got the clipboard item of that text that I copied and I've got the URL that I pasted. So if I want that URL, it's just a matter of uh, clicking, actually I'll just press the enter key and go Windows V and then paste that particular URL in there. So it's, you can get this Windows history of the clipboard that you can choose. So you're still copying it and going Control C to copy and you can paste that, uh, copy paste that into the clipboard whenever you want to, but then you go Windows V and you can select from the history of the copied item. Where is that really handy for us in the Department of Education? Uh, you know what we do every single day, multiple times, is we type in our user address, our user email address, and we do that as part of our signing on process and it's complicated because you're constantly typing in all of these characters but if you wanted to you can highlight that and go Control c to copy and then if we go to windows v you will now see that as listed as one of the items on your clipboard but the great thing about it is you can click these little three dots up here and you can choose the option to pin and what that will do is keep that forever in your clipboard. Even if you shut down your computer and turn it back on again, next day if you go Control V or Windows V, I should say, you will always see that as one of the items in your clipboard. And then when you get that username and password box pop up, which may or may not pop up regularly for you on a day-to-day -day basis, instead of typing in that whole thing every single time, you go Windows V and you select it from the pinned item on your clipboard. Makes it so much easier to do. And yeah, that's Windows V. It's pinned on my device and I can paste that in. And just to demonstrate how it pins it, if you go Windows V, on any of these options here, you've got an option that says Clear All, and that will clear everything except anything that you've pinned. So pin is the big thing that you can do to uh, make your clipboard contain those things that you need to regularly type 
so that they're easily accessible for you for the next time, even after a restart of your computer. Hope that was of use and I will see you in the next video.